I guess, could you just walk us through maybe your decision and just kind of what those conversations were like with Coach Kelly to, to come here and just maybe your, your first initial impressions of this place? Uh, you know, my decision in the transfer portal, um, you know, is probably the best move for me uh, in my future career um, or the goals I want to accomplish. So, you know, those conversations with Coach Kelly and them, uh, I show interest in them, they show interest back, uh, you know, talked on the phone, um, you know, just had the opportunity to come play at the highest level, uh, help a powerhouse win another national championship so I could showcase my skills. That's probably uh, the most intriguing thing for me. <clears throat> you know, Coach Kelly is the winningest coach in uh, Notre Dame history, so, you know, He's on the, he knows how to win. Uh, he knows how to get teams, his team where he needs it to be, so I want him to be a part of it. Jay, Coach was talking about he thinks that you've got so much untapped potential that we haven't even seen. And that's, I think, pretty good compliment for what you did at Arizona State. Is that one of the things why LSU was so intriguing to reach those goals, tap into that potential? Yeah, 100%. You know, uh, I always enjoy my time at Arizona State. You know, love Coach Herm and, and those guys over there. Um, but, you know, just for my, my career, my future, you know, I, I decided to go somewhere else, you know, so I can't reach in that untapped potential. Um, you know, they did a great job over at ASU, but, you know, just coming, coming here, coming to LSU, you know, I get to showcase my talents on the national stage now. Uh, so a lot of people, you know, back home, a lot of people don't really get to see our game. So, you know, coming here and compete at the highest level with all these weapons uh, here, all these resources, you know, is, is very tricky for me to come. You mentioned untapped potential. I guess what are some things you think you need to kind of improve on? Yeah, um, <clears throat> you know, footwork, uh, you know, uh, really just building the chemistry with the guys. You know, I came uh, pretty late here, you know, right before spring ball. Um, but, you know, for me personally, you know, just that leadership role, you know, um, full work and, uh, you know, going through progressions and things like that. You know, just the offense that Coach Denbrock and had Cincinnati. Uh, you know, Coach Kelly, you know, offensive-minded head coach, you know, just just being able to go out there, you know, and talk to them about, about offense, about football, you know, that's probably one of the best things I could have done. What have those conversations with Coach Denver been like in terms of how he wants to use you in terms of the offense if he wants to win? Yeah, I mean, um, he had Desmond Ritter last year, you know, a mobile guy, but, I mean, at the end of the day, um, they're going to play the best quarterback if it's me, if it's Miles, Nuss, and whoever. Um, they're gonna play the best quarterback who they who they best fit. Uh, they best think that fits their offense uh, scheme. But you know, just a conversation. You know, come here. We want to have explosive offense. We want to be one of the top scoring offenses uh, in the country. Uh, in order to do that in the SEC, you got you got to uh, have good quarterback play. So at the end of the day, it's not really about me. But at the end of the day, just gonna play the best quarterback uh, who fits the offensive scheme. How do you think you've done in this quarterback battle so far? I feel like I, I did good um, so far. You know. Uh, coming in, learning the playbook right on the fly, uh, you know, uh, kind of, you know, in the quarterback room, we're bouncing everything off of each other. You know, it's a healthy competition. Um, you know, I ask Miles questions, Miles asks me questions. You know, we bounce the stuff off of each other. Um, you know, just building that relationship. You know, Coach Joe done a great job of creating an environment where it's not uh, you're envying the, the next guy. Um, you know, the relationships last a long time. So, you know, coming here and be able to just build with those guys and embrace me and I could embrace them right back. It was probably a big thing for me. What do you think of Louisiana so far? Was there anybody <laughs> culture shock? No, nah, it hasn't. Um, you know, I'm, they talking about the summer. You know, I'm used to dry heat. I'm not used to the humidity yet. So that's something I'll probably have to get used to. You, you, had a pro I mean, you, you were with Jamar Kane for a little bit at Arizona State. I mean, uh -huh. Did that relationship play a, a decent part maybe coming here? Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, just uh, being comfortable with Coach Kane. Um, you know, he, my, he was one of my coaches, you know, my freshman year. Uh, you know, just that trust I had in him, you know, if I come here, you know, I, I wanted, I had the best opportunity, you know, opportunity to come here and play. Um, if I take it, if I do the correct, the correct things, uh, you know, and they're not trying to sell me on a dream or anything, you know, it's a fair uh, play, you know, and then Coach Kane made that decision comfortable. Hey, how transparent, I mean, you know, what, kind of coming in, Coach Kelly said that with all you quarterbacks, it was very much like this is going to be an open competition, not guaranteeing anybody a job. I mean, how transparent kind of were they at the start, and what did that sort of, in what ways did that resonate with you as a player? Yeah, hey, uh, Coach Kelly is very transparent. <clears throat> it's kind of like going back to when I was getting recruited out of high school. Um, you know, Arizona State, Coach Herm, and them had two other uh, freshman quarterbacks coming in, in the same class as me. And at the end of the day, you know, they said, you have an opportunity to come in and play. Uh, if you do the things, uh, the best player is going to play. So at the end of the day, you know, Coach Kelly said the same thing. You know, best player is going to play. 
it's not anything where we're on the phone. He's guaranteeing me, talking about you're going to start anything. You know, he's been very transparent. You know, Walker, you know, Miles came back. Nuss Myers a good player. Uh, at the end of the day, if you, I didn't want anything handed to me, and I felt like it was the best spot for me. What has that dynamic been like with those guys in that room and just kind of, you know, coming in and obviously you want to take their job? Uh, it's been great. Uh, I mean, they know that they know that uh, they brought me in. I know that they're there. Um, you know, like I said, it's building relationships. It's not. It's a healthy competition at the end of the day. What, what have you done to get your line just to, to know you and your center, especially, just to ease that transition as they get used to what you bring to the table? Yeah, uh, be myself. Um, you know, you start gaining respect of others. You know, by working hard. You know, doing the right things. Uh, and that's probably the biggest thing for me is trying to be myself. Um, don't try to be anybody I'm not, who I'm not, you know, and, and those guys, you know, they can see real from fake. And at the end of the day, if I'm not myself, then they wouldn't really know who the real me is. Jane, with the stuff, you know, the social media posts from Arizona State, your teammates that left that were very negative, do you, do you think that you came here to maybe clean slate, kind of rebuild? how people think of you or how you think of yourself as a human being quarterback? I mean, I, I came here, you know, for my for my future in my career. Um, it's a fresh start. Uh, you know, what happened at Arizona State happened, you know, that video. Uh, still got a lot of love for those guys up there. You know, still talk to them at the end of the day, you know, because it's beyond football uh, for me. So just going up there, you know, uh, I hope they do well this season. You know, I'm never going to pray on their downfall. You know, love Coach Herm, love Marvin Lewis and those guys up there. Uh, but at the end of the day, they understood what I want to accomplish in my life because it's, it's my football career. Uh, you know, it's just moving on to the next step, moving forward. When you, when you mentioned coming in late, uh, you know, right before spring ball, how have you put in extra work with the receivers to kind of build that chemistry? And, and how how difficult is that, you know, on the chemistry front to, to build it as you go through practice? <laughs> yeah, um, so, you know, I try to. I try to build as much chemistry as I, I can, you know, with the receivers. Uh, obviously, I didn't get that a time period, a time frame. So, you know, coming in, uh, you know, I'll go out there and throw because the receivers want to throw me to see how I throw the ball. I want to throw the receivers. Uh, but we did that as a collective group, you know, with the quarterbacks. Um, you know, one of probably one of my closest friends, you know, that embraced me really is uh, Kyron Lacey. You know, when I committed, he hit me up. It was like, you know, I'm excited for you to be here. So we've been building that relationship, um, you know, a great player. And then when I got here, you know, it's kind of, it's not difficult, but, you know, uh, trying to build a, the chemistry with receivers throughout practice, you know, it's, it's just a, a step that I have to take, you know. And then when we come back in the summer, that's when, you know, uh, we have the summer workouts and we can build more chemistry from there. When you have two, two when you have two years of eligibility left to play, kind of play with as a transfer, how do you, just, do you approach that knowing, like, if you didn't start this year, you would have another year? on the table potentially. Kind of how do you just go about handling that uh, situation? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, goal is for not just me, but any other quarterback, you know, is to start. Um, I'm not going to say that's that's not what my goal is. Um, you know, I'm just going to attack each and every day, each and every opportunity, you know, the best I can, put my, my best foot forward. Um, you know, and if I, you know, if it's not me, then, you know, I do have another year. Um, but it is me, you know, I'm going to, Help! I'm gonna put myself in the best position to help this team win. You know, accomplish the goal. That's the national championship. Are they trying to put weight that's on nice you? One. Are you are you getting a lot of calories in? <laughs> they, yeah, hundred like percent. You, you have a target weight. Yeah, nah, hundred percent. You know, uh, like I said, they had a lot of research. You know, Dr. Franks, uh, me and him just sat down. You know, made a plan not too long ago. So you know, just following that plan. You know, like Coach Kelly said, building those habits, staying uh, consistent to the process. Because at the end of the day. Can't look too forward to the results. You got to you got to enjoy the process. What are those numbers? They, they, they have a target weight. They want to get you at to? Yeah, um, you know, right now you, it's I try to get over 200. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm getting there. You know, it's a lot of good food out here, so I'm, I'm happy. Do they have, is there a calorie number? No, nah, it's not a calorie number, but it's a lot of good food out here. No, I appreciate it. Thank you.